I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on integration. We will try to understand how reverse differentiation helps us to find integrals. As you know that if we have a derivative of the function, let's say d dx of any function is known to us, let's say this is equal to f of x. In that case, you could actually find the integral of f of x. So integral of f of x dx will be equal to the original function f of x plus some constant c. Correct? So that is the important property which we are going to explore in this particular video. Now sometimes you are given some initial conditions. So to find c, we may need extra information. Clear? Normally it is provided as initial conditions. So that is what helps you to specifically get the integral of the given function, right? So we will say these are indefinite integrals, right? So that's why the word comes indefinite. Right. So here's an example of indefinite integral, right? So that is kind of important to understand as the basics. We have two related questions here. The very first one is differentiate y equals to x sine x with respect to x, then find the integral of x cos x dx. So a suggestion is being made, right? So we are saying y equals to x sine x. So dy dx is what? We'll do the product rule, right? So dy dx will be equal to derivative of x which is 1, so it is sine x plus x times derivative of sine x, x cos x. So here, what we found is that we now know that derivative of the function x sine x is equal to sine x plus x cos x. Now from our learnings, look here, that is capital Fx, right? And we know our function. And now from here, we can say that the integral of sine x plus x cos x is equal to x sine x plus some constant c. Is that clear to you? So that is what we get straight from the derivative. And I hope now you understand the type of question which is being asked, right? So we can definitely write this. Now, we'll apply our rule. We can always, this is sum of two. So we could write this as integral of sine x plus integral of x cos x. I uh, forgot to write dx, is equal to x sine x plus c, right? In the question, we are interested in finding integral of x cos x. So we'll keep it here. So we have integral of x cos x dx is equal to what? So we'll take this on the right side. So we get our answer as x sine x minus integral of sine x dx plus c. Correct? So, so that's what we get. An integral of sine x is known to us and that is we can again go back to so sine x is integral of a derivative of cos x, correct? So that should give you 
minus cos x correct so so we get from here as this is equal to x sin x minus of so antiderivatives will tell you that this is minus cos x correct plus c so what we get here is x sin x plus cos x plus c as our answer is that clear to you so these are the steps to be followed in solving such questions so we are using the information about antiderivatives in solving this perfect let's move on and take the solution for question number two now question number two is differentiate y equals to x plus 5 over square root of 2x minus 1 with respect to x then find the integral 2x minus 12 divided by square root of 2x minus 1 whole q dx so we are given y is equal to x plus 5 over square root of 2x minus 1 so dy dx is let's apply the quotient rule here right so square of this will give us 2x minus 1 derivative of that is 1 right so we get uh, square root of 2x minus 1 minus x plus 5 times derivative of this function which is uh, square root of 2x minus 1 half of this times derivative of this which is 2 right so that's what you get using the quotient rule right now we can simplify this taking uh, we can cancel these tools right so what we get here is 2x minus 1 right minus x plus 5 over we have here 2x minus 1 times square root of 2x minus 1 so that gives us 2x minus x is x minus 1 and minus 5 is minus 6 over here we have 2x minus 1 and this power is 1 plus half right so so 1 plus half is 3 by 2 so now we know that the derivative of x plus 5 divided by square root of 2x minus 1 is x minus 6 over 2x minus 1 to the power of 3 by 2 what do we need to figure out we need to find the integral which is given to us as 2x minus 12 over square root of uh, 2x minus 1 whole cube dx now let's factor this 2 from the numerator so so what we get here as 2 times x minus 6 over square root of 2x minus 1 whole cube dx is that clear to you right so now if you relate these two we know the the derivative and we'll do the reverse of differentiation to get the solution for the integration so it is two times all this correct and therefore we can now write down the integral of this as two times derivative of this part this is the derivative of x plus 5 over this right so so we get this as 2 times x plus 5 over square root of 2x minus 1 is that clear right plus a constant c perfect so the answer will now be 2 times we can say 2x plus 10 over square root of 2x minus 1 plus c is the integral 2x minus 12 over square root of 2x minus 1 whole cube perfect so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great so with that we solve these two related questions 
Thank you.